you're new in our channel, don't forget to hit the bell to subscribe us to update our new videos and to like and comment below to let us know how we doing, how you like our videos and don't forget to share. Tonight, I'm gonna show you my unlimited ingredients. My dinner beef ribs soup with vegetables. Stay healthy, be happy, and enjoy. Learning is fun. Keep going, keep discovering so many ingredients, different flavors, and have fun. Share the love and enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. Stay around. More moments later. So now, here are my ingredients. First of all, beef ribs, three pounds. I love to eat healthy foods, red meat, because red meat is good for you. It's a source of iron, gives you a lot of energy. So I got this in my ingredients, good meat. So first, so that it's easy to, um, it's tender and it's easy to eat, I'm gonna take out the membrane. This side. So I'm gonna take this membrane out. So we're gonna find the end. There you go. Because this one, it's hard when you eat, it's uh, very uh, like rubber. So I don't want that in my meat. So I'm gonna take this out. Just fold it up. It's hard, but let's do this. There you go. There you go. This one is very hard when you eat, so it's, I don't like it. So I need to take this out so that your meat it looks so good when you bite it. So I'm gonna wash and clean this one. It's good for your vegetable. It's very healthy for you. So I'm gonna get this ready, clean, cut, and let's have fun cooking. It's longer than a few minutes later. So these are my unlimited ingredients, vegetables. <laughs> so this is long green beans, very healthy for you. Mix vegetables i like it because it's colorful basil sprouts very healthy for you cabbage it's good for you it's so healthy corn sayuti potatoes White onions, long green chili, yellow pepper, mushroom, it's very healthy, parsley, and spinach. So this ingredient is for my beef soup. So it's gonna be 
healthy, very colorful, so delicious. So I'm gonna add this to my meat. So let's keep going. Okay. So I'm gonna cut my young green onions. I like to smash it so that I can get some flavors. And then cut it. There we go. Put it in my pot. And then garlic. I'm gonna smash this garlic because I love to get some uh, flavors if you smash it. Garlic is smells so good. There you go. Put that one in there. And then I want to smash my ginger to get some flavors. So now I got garlic, ginger, and long green onions. I put my ribs and then put some water and then boil it or tenderize for one or two hours. So I put this in there so that it adds a lot of flavor while they are boiling. Boiling or tenderized. Now put this on to add some flavors. So that it boiled good and it tenderized really good for one or two hours. So let's turn on the oven to medium heat. So we're gonna put it in medium heat. And then let's cover my meat. Okay, so the oven is on. So let's cover my meat to boil it or tenderize for one or two hours. So let's keep going. So while my meat is on the oven, I'm gonna prepare all the ingredients. I'm gonna cut wash and clean so that when it's tender the meat i'm gonna add all in there so let's keep going and have fun any tic tacs later now let's check it out my meat still boiling look at that it smells so Good because I put uh, ginger, garlic, 
long green onions and black pepper. It smells so good. And the nor Q. So that's all the flavor is in there on the meat while they are boiling or tenderized. Tenderized. And it smells so good. It smells so yummy. So I can't wait this one to make tender. To get tender. So let's keep going and enjoy preparing our all our ingredients. It smells so good. This is very delicious beef with soup. Two hours later. So look at my meat. It's done. It's tender. So I'm gonna wait for five minutes to cool down a little bit. And then after, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to cool it down and it freeze the uh, fat so that I can take it out so that our soup, our beef soup is healthy. So I will show you why. So let's uh, wait for a few minutes to uh, cool down. And then I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator to freeze the uh, fat on top of the meat and then I'm gonna take it out. So I will show you what I'm talking about. 15 minutes later. So now my beef soup is cold down. So now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator so that the fat on top of the meat is fresh. And then I'm gonna take it out and throw away. So I will show you which one I'm talking about. So. Let's see. It looks good and smells so good.